What's up YouTube, Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com here, back again with another video. And in this video guys, we're gonna be talking about day 12 of the 30 day challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing a follow along where I am um, basically copying Trey Llewellyn's business plan from the question that Russell Brunson asked him, which was, what would you do if you lost all your money he had no reputation, but you only had a ClickFunnels account. What would you do? So this is day 12 of that challenge. If, if you want to start from day one, just click the link below um, and then you can start from there and then catch, catch up to day 12. So in this uh, video, what we're going to be talking about is setting up our Google Analytics so that we can track people based on where they come from, what device they come from, what age they are. We're going to set up some audiences. We're going to do some really cool things. But before we get into that, click that subscribe button, hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video uh, because I'm going to be posting a video a day in regards to this challenge. Um, and today's day 12. So if you subscribe, you'll get th day 13. So let's definitely just jump right into it. What we're going to do is we're going to sign up for a Google Analytics account. I already have an account, but if you don't, you can just go to Google and search Google Analytics and then sign up for one. Um, and you can just use your regular email address. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new account for this specific um, thing we're doing. And I'm going to call it Gaming Junkies. And we're going to give it a website URL. And we're going to select an industry. Let's figure that out. Maybe online communities. Um, this is fine. We'll change the time to New York time. And then you can leave this all checked. It really doesn't matter. And then click get tracking ID. You're going to click I accept the data processing terms. I accept the measurement control data protection terms. I accept. And now we have a brand new account or property as they call it. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to include this code that they provide us into our funnel. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So if you don't have a ClickFunnels account, click the link below so that you can get one. Um, and then you can follow along from day one to day 13 or day 12 today is. <laughs> I'm getting my days mixed up. Um, so what you want to do is you just want to copy this code, right? And you want to come back to ClickFunnels. And you're going to find the funnel. So we're going to find that funnel. And then once we have that we're going to go to settings okay and this is where we're going to put that code it's actually going to be let's actually look at where it should go it says copy and paste this code as the first item into the head of every web page okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the global settings by going to the settings icon here and we're going to actually paste um this code here so it says be the first so we're actually just going to put that down and we'll paste that here and then that's all you need to do and now we have a Google Analytics um, code in integrated into our account so we're gonna do is save and update settings and then from here what we're gonna want to do is you want to check to make sure that it's actually incorporated with our um, page so in order to do that we have a little plugin called Google Tag Assistant um, which will allow us to see if a Google tag or um, integration is on our actual page. So what we're going to do is we're going to view this page um, and what we're going to do is click on this little icon here. It should pop up in a second and we're going to have to click enable. So we have to reload the page And then what we're going to do is we're going to go here and now you can see our um, code is there. This is our code. This is our tag. And we now know that it's enabled correctly. So now that we have done that, what we're going to do now is we're going to go and we're going to go to settings here. So go to admin, just click this little gear icon here. And what we're going to do is we're not really selling anything, but we might as well set it up. We're going to go to e-commerce settings and we're just going to click enable enable and we're just going to save this we don't have any funnel steps yet um we can come back and add that later we can talk about that once we do do that so let's actually go back to our uh, admin and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to property settings make sure that this is all um enabled so what we want to do is enable demographic and interest reports and we're also going to want to um, enable enhanced link attribution um, and we're going to click on save okay now what we want to do is or what we can do is we can actually start setting up some lists um, 
inside of the audiences. So if we go back to admin here and we go to audience definitions, we can go to audiences. And then from here, we can actually set up some audiences. So uh, what you're gonna actually need to do um, is set up your Google Ads account or link it to this um, link it to this analytics account. So if you don't have a Google Ads account, you wanna set one up. Um, it's free, so you just set it up. I'm gonna click continue, and then I'm just gonna say Gaming Junkies Ad Account. Uh, we're gonna click on, we're gonna make all website data on, and we're gonna click on link accounts. Done. And then now we can actually go into this, uh, this linked ad account and we can um, sorry um, you should be able to I don't know why this is not let's see what's next see what next. Oh, okay here we go let's go to remarketing and um, there we go so let's we're gonna have to enable um, remarketing so let's just click next step and now that this is enabled, what we're able to do is we are able to set up a uh, destination. So we can, um, click on edit. Oh, sorry. We have to make an all users first and then we can just set this up and then enable. So you have to enable remarketing for your whole entire account. And then what we can do is go back to the audience's pages. And then from here, we can create a new audience. So this is all users. So this is basically every single person that lands on our funnel is going to be added to this list. So we can in, we can make these um, segmented. So we can click on new audience um, and we can do different things like add a smart list. We can do returning users. We can do even custom ones. So I like to use smart list and we're, we're going to set up some other ones as well. Um, so these are all managed by Google. We can set up the duration. So 30 days, seven days, 15 days, whatever you want. And then you can just name it, um, smart list last 30 days and then click next step and then add destination. So in this case, we would just have Google analytics. If we were running AdWords, we can include that as well. So anyone that came from an AdWords ad can be added into this list and we can differentiate based on that. So this is going to set up a Google smart list now. Um, and we can go back to the audience pages and set up additional ones. So let's go to new audience. And this is really cool guys, because now once we set up these lists, it's going to put people on these different lists and we can retarget them via YouTube ads, um, AdWords, different things where we can uh, promote other offers down the line if we want to, since we have their data already. So we might as well capitalize on as much as we can as people are coming to our um, funnel. So let's actually go into users who have visited a section of my site. So let's actually um, go back to ClickFunnels and we're going to look at this enter contest path name. And then from here we can uh, check out, um, I believe it's this one. So let's actually change this to September. All right click on update page and then what we're going to do is copy this we're going to come back to analytics and what we're going to do is click on this little um, pencil icon and this is going to be for the last 30 days we can even make them so we can make different lists so like last seven days last 15 days last 30 days and then we can have different people in those different lists um, so what we want to do is we want to um, we want to filter them based on page so we want to say maybe they visited this page, right? So they visited the September contest page, right? On our Gaming Junkies uh, URL, but they did not, um, they did not visit the thank you page. Okay, so they didn't, they didn't make it here. They just, they just came here. They didn't opt in, and we know they didn't opt in because if they did opt in, they would have been, they would have been brought to this contest thank you page, and since they didn't. Um, get to that point we know that they should be uh, retargeted right so we can copy this and we can go back to our um, audiences and then we can go exclude okay and we have to make sure we change this add content so instead of include you see it says include we can just do exclude and then from here 
we want to look for page. So we can just type in page and then you include the URL of that page, right? So backspace contest thank you page. And now it's going to say, okay, we're going to include people who visited this page but did not visit this page, right? And then we can make another one that says include people who visited both of these pages, right? So now we know they completed the, the entry. Um, and we click apply, then we can give it an audience name saying something like uh, visited contest, or we can say visit September. So we give it even more information. Um, September contest entry page, but did not make it or make it to the thank you page. Right? And then this is 30 days, so we would say 30 days. And then we say next step, add destination. This is going to be for Google Analytics, and we're going to publish. So you can have different audience. The whole point of this is so you can get really segmented and have different audiences based on what people are doing, what people are not doing, and then you can retarget them based on those actions. So um, I'm going to make some other lists. You can get really creative with this. Um, I'll show you guys my list after I make them. I don't want to make all of them on camera um, just because it's very simple. I'm just doing based on the pages they visit, that they don't visit. Um, and then I'll have an overview of that um, after that. I don't want to take up too much time for this video. But this is how you do it. It's really simple, really cool, really unique way of retargeting people down the line. And I'll tell you this, YouTube ads is super, super cheap in terms of getting people to view your videos. So if you know you have a huge contest going on, you know people are visiting this page, retarget them on YouTube because you know they're probably watching YouTube videos retarget them and say, hey, I saw that you were on this uh, contest page. Why didn't you enter? Or do something to that extent. Um, so I hope this helped you out. Um, tomorrow we're going to be talking about Facebook pixels and setting that, that up and custom audiences there. Um, and then by Monday, we'll, we'll be sending out those emails and really trying to get those responses. So I really, really am excited for this. I'm thankful that you guys are commenting and you know interacting with this. It's really, really awesome. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions. Thank you guys so much for being so awesome. I really hope that this is helpful and this has been a really great experience. So I'm really thankful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.